children living at an orphanage caught in the middle of rising tension between government and opposition forces in Torit, South Sudan, are finally able to play and study safely again. After weeks of increased military activity near the Hope of South Sudan orphanage, government and opposition forces have reportedly withdrawn from the area, bringing relief to the frightened children who were at risk of being caught in the crossfire. The United Nations mission in South Sudan, UNMES, had initially been denied access to the orphanage by local authorities. However, permission was recently granted and peacekeepers are now regularly patrolling the area. Their presence has increased security and confidence among the 260 children and 60 staff members at the orphanage founded in 2009. I think the biggest difference is with the blue helmet, unlike the other one where they are scared, I think they can still play and feel secure now that the enemies can come and uh, get an assurance that they are here for us. So that alone, even me, we can sleep peacefully and the children can play peacefully because they know there are also others who do care. The sporadic firing of gunshots echoing just outside the orphanage main gate over the past few weeks has traumatized children with many seeking cover under their beds. It also meant their regular school lessons were significantly disrupted. When you see them coming in here, just, just everybody will run in the house and run under the bed and people will run in here. When you hear one, one bullet shot, you, you have to sleep down. Teachers at the orphanage have dedicated their lives to giving these children hope for a better future, despite the challenges they face. After teaching at the orphanage for seven years, Lolos Joseph says they still wake early, go to class, and care for the children despite the risks. Some of the hopes of the children are diminishing, but yet the only thing that we give them back is from the teacher's perspective. As we stand in front of the class with all of them, we give them hope. We said everything has an end and everything has a beginning. Just like you were born and you will one time die. And in this situation, we will not lose hope that it is all crisis and we cannot do anything. We still wake up early in the morning and go to the class and do some of our activities that are there. An integrated onmes patrol consisting of human rights, child protection, and military liaison officers as well as humanitarian agencies like UNICEF visited the orphanage on Friday, 21st July. ONMIS says it is the responsibility of all parties to the conflict to protect civilians. ONMIS has come to reiterate uh, their position on uh, protection of civilians and also on the issue of children in armed conflict, just to ensure that, again, parties to the conflict um, uh, stay away from uh, uh, where civilians are residing and also for them to respect the international humanitarian law and the other legal instruments in place in terms of uh, children and protection of children and uh, children in armed conflict. ONMIS will continue to regularly patrol and visit the orphanage to monitor the situation and mitigate conflict.